Hi everyone, it's Nina from Shuffle Tarot and I'm here to show off three beautiful decks, um, nature inspired decks by Rebecca. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna put her name across the screen because I don't want to say that wrong again. Um, so I'm going to show you these wonderful decks. There's one for animals, creatures, and plants. So grab a cuppa, make yourself comfortable, and we'll check out these decks one by one. So I hope you're looking as forward to this as I am. I'm gonna do the walkthrough this way for a change because um, I've had a quick look at these decks when I unwrap them. And I think they're a deck that I will need to sort of, um, and that I want to actually just look at each individual card and um, yeah, just go through them with you. I think if I was just to flip them with music, because they have um, writing on them as well, I just don't think you'd get the full effect of how beautiful these cards are. We'll see how long this is. I might have to divide the uh, videos into part one, part two, and part three. Uh, and I might just use the same um, intro for each, just so you can look at each deck separately, depending on which one you want to get or if you want to get them all. Rebecca sent me these for review. Um, the illustrations are done by Phoebe Hunt. And she also sent me uh, the little mini editions of these beautiful decks, which I've put in um, some bags that I had. So the uh, Fauna Inspiration cards come in a mini. The Fantastic Being cards come in a mini and they just came in um, packaged in plastic. They didn't come in um, these bags. I'll just say that again. Um, and the Flora Healing has a mini. So I will also show those in the video. So you can just have a quick look. You also get a little booklet on how to use your deck. It says nature inspired cards for conscious purposeful living. And then um, you have a little introduction to Rebecca and um, who she is and why she um, put this beautiful deck together, how to use the deck intention setting so you can use it for contemplating, um, contemplative writing, daily contemplation, um, intention setting, uh, professional healing sessions, group theory, therapy or retreats. So you, you can also use them for um, lots of other things um, for setting intentions just besides um, reading for yourself or divination. Uh, there's personal growth, so the Fauna Inspiration cards are about awareness, getting inspired, contemplation and consciousness. The Flora Healing cards are about preparation, so you do your work and explore your stuff. Uh, the Fantastic Being cards are action, making life happen, getting charged and ignited. And then it has a little bit here about exploring your intuition and doing intuitive readings and universal connection. It goes through the elements because as you will see, each of the cards has the elements. So you've got fire, water, air, earth, and essence. And there is also, for more information, you can visit uh, this website here. And then you have um, a Vec La Vie collection, I think. I don't know how you say that. I wish I'd I wish I would stop saying things before I think. So that is just the little booklet that you get as well, just to get you started. Okay, I think we will start. What order do they go in in here, actually? Let's do them in the order that they appear here. We're going to start with Fauna Inspiration on this video. So that would be the purple box. So this is the Fauna Inspiration, and I will get out the little mini Fauna Inspiration deck. I like the bag colors that I had because it seems to match the energy of the decks as well. And I will zoom in the camera. Let's zoom it in just a little bit like that. So we can see, and I'm going to leave my coffee here because I need that, and I always need a candle when I'm, um, Looking through decks, I had to put little Arnie in his cage because he wanted to bomb this video. And um, 
I just need candles today, so I couldn't let him bomb it. Okay, so that is the cards that we're going to be looking at now. Uh, let's look at the large deck so you can get uh, a better idea of uh, what everything looks like and then we'll take a quick look at the mini deck because obviously it's just going to be a mini version of this. It comes in this amazing two-piece box which I just sit on my counter like this. Um, I do that because the lids come off quite easily so just be aware of that. So it sits on my tarot shelf like that. It says uh, 57 animals, fauna inspiration, nature inspired illumination cards. Then you've got your elements there again. Watercolor and words by Rebecca and illustrations by Phoebe Hunt. Uh, then you just got your normal copyright and a bit of information there. The side of the box, the back of the box, it says, look at this beautiful wolf. Oh, I can't wait to see that card. Fauna Inspiration, give the gift of illumination. The Fauna Inspiration deck is comp comprised of 57 animals, each ethereally embodied using a unique pen and ink watercolor technique. On the back of the card, inspiring messages, that's why I wanna show you these, um, and I'm filming it this way. Accompany each fauna filled with poetic metaphor and meaning, this deck combines nature and sentiment encouraging the reader to find connection and discover their inner wisdom at any time. How beautiful is that? And then you just simply pull it open like this. When I receive this deck, so they just come out like that. And this is your box, uh, the inside of the lid, just in case you wanna see. Uh, when I got this, uh, it was it had a band around it, a plastic band, and it was wrapped in plastic. Um, I don't know if there's a reason for that. Usually it's one or the other, but it had both. So I think maybe uh, just in the terms of environment, um, I'm wondering if it can be done with one or the other, but maybe there's a reason because it is a beautiful card and I'm wondering um, if it's not wrapped properly, will it bend or get damaged um, when it's being mailed? because this is like an art card or something. It's not your usual, it's, there's no laminate on it. It feels very raw and um, organic and beautiful. I don't know how these will hold up. I've never had a deck like this, but it's also soft and I don't know, it just feels incredible. Um, I can see myself using it all the time because I'm very tactile and I just love the way these feel. So Fauna Inspiration. Whether in birth or death, I have shared time, space and energy with many souls as they have transitioned from one side to the other. These cards were conceived and crafted in the honour of the spirits that have passed and those that continue to watch, guide and con connect us. May these fauna inspire and enlighten as they impart objectivity, strength and clarity. This is their greatest wish. And then it's signed by Rebecca. Collaborative Art by Phoebe Hunt, illustrations written by Rebecca. And then it's, you've got your little copyright down there. Okay, so that's your card. And then this is the deck. Do we need to zoom in a little bit more? I think I will, just because I really do like you to be able, might have some of that. Just because, <laughs> Sorry, it was just looks so tempting and it's nice and hot. Um, it Just because uh, I really do like to uh, show the images and if you want to read the backs along with me. So let's get started, shall we? So the first one obviously is B. It'd be good if I could pick him up. And it says B and B is about partnership. And I'm not gonna read them all, but I'll read B so you get a general idea. And B is a faithful partner. And don't forget also on the bottom of each card, we have the element. So here we have um, the element for fire, just here. So that's interesting as well. So B is a faithful partner who values hard work, which aids her family. Her actions are nothing short of divine. B's dedication to the hive is unparalleled and embodies devout cooperation. She is modest for now. Oh, that is so true. I love the way that's said who strongly believes commitment and humility are golden. Through her example, she encourages us to accept our shortcomings and to embrace the support and love of others. With gentle persistence, B nurtures our spirit, rallies our heart and prompts us to drink from the elixir of life. That's beautiful. 
and each card has, oh, I think, going to have the copyright under there, which is nice because it's not on the front where the images are. I love the way these are written out. They have such a gentle, nurturing feeling. I think these are going to be a wonderful healing deck, a wonderful deck to work with for growth in your life. Um, yeah, these are gorgeous. So B, ah, I'm a Taurus. So here we have the bull perseverance i would have put <laughs> stubborn for me as we journey through life we are faced with many challenges bull reminds us to persevere and it um, goes on okay i wonder if they're divided or packaged in their elements let's have a look what have we got here oh so cute cardinal again fire authenticity authenticity it is easy to make assumptions about cardinal based on his vibrant color but this would be a hasty deduction in truth he is not self-important on the contrary he has a healthy understanding of his place he is neither bold nor shy extravagant or haughty his brilliant color is true likeness of his authentic self modestly confident and uninclined to brag he finds no reason to shy away from his hue he teaches us to embrace our uniqueness and discover the power of authenticity Oh, these are so beautiful. What is this, dragonfly? Let's have a look. Dragonfly, yes, peace. Dragonfly dares us to dream. I haven't shuffled this deck, so I don't think I have. Firefly illumination, which is perfect. Um, I don't think, oh, look, fox. Ingenuity, that's a good one. I don't think I've shuffled this deck, but I thought I did because they're all in fire. If I did, it would be weird. Oh, the horse passion. Oh my God, these images are stunning and I love the ink on them or the watercolor ink. I don't know what it is. I read it out and I've already forgotten. That's what happens when I start looking at cards. I don't know what's going on around me. Lion leadership, these are perfect. Absolute perfect keywords, triumph. Yes, that's beautiful for Peacock. Light reminds us of life's glory. Oh, these are just beautiful. I love them and the feel. If only you could feel them. Have a look at this texture. And this is how bendy they are, but they somehow feel durable. I don't know. I hope they hold up. But in a way, this is the kind of deck that when you handle it, it gets, this is that really, the cardstock they used to use before um, laminating and all the machinery and all the fancy cardboards came out and the, those decks had the most beautiful feel and wear and tear to them that just made them feel so authentic. Scorpion protection. Snake release. Oh, that's different. As Snake moves through the millennia, she teaches us about change, reflection and balance. Or yeah, of course, because when, um, when you let go of something, there's a release and then you can start and transform. With a fresh outlook, challenges become possib possibilities and possibilities become opportunities. I've not seen release for Snake before. I love that. Oh, this bat. Matrix of self. So much of our being resides in darkness. Ooh. So these have more um, cards that get us to look at different aspects of ourselves. And look, we've gone away from fire, which I didn't notice. We're in, um, what is this one? Air? Swords? I sometimes get mixed up. Yeah, that has to be swords. I'm just thinking because I usually put the elements on decks that I've um, cut the borders and the keywords off. Chickadee! Tenacity. Small and slight. Chickadee. Oh, that is so cute. These are so well written, Cicada. Yep. Surrender. Ooh. Often resting for long periods at a time, Cicada remains silent until she is ready. Oh, that's perfect. There's a lot of thought that have gone into these. Eagle, yep. Reverence, any swiftness, flight and courage, Eagle sets the example of rising above. Beautiful, flamingo, yes. Consideration, flamingo is no stranger to skirting the edges. <laughs> these are just perfection. I don't know this one, hawk, I should have known that, clarity. Messenger of the spirit world, hawk encourages to use our powers focus oh I've forgotten what this is um no I'll be here forever and then this will be the longest video known to man heron self-reliance 
A solitary creature strongly symbolic of self-reliance. Owl. Transformation. Ah. Owl often arrives prior to significant life events. That is actually true. That is actually true, like a messenger. Pelican. Optimism. I saw a pelican flying near my house the other day and I am nowhere near water. So that was really weird. An amenable inhabitant of ephemeral islands, Pelican enjoys a life of transience inspired by possibility. He averts traditional norms. I have to read that and put it on my altar after. Squirrel! <laughs> necessity. When Squirrel appears in our lives, he encourages us to relish in necessity. Because he squirrels things away, doesn't he? Swan, a white swan. We only have black swans here. Love. Swan teaches us about awakening the power of self-love, beautiful, and recognizing inner beauty. Seaweed? Coral. Oh, of course. There is weakness in arrogant independence. I love this. And we've gone again into water here. I love that this just, um, it's not all... Uh, fluff and rainbows. There's some hard hitting cards here that get us to take a serious look at what um, is going on in our lives. Crab courage. She casts off her shell. What's the key word? Courage, yep. Dolphin. Oh. Pure of heart. Oh, that is perfection for a dolphin. Octopus. <laughs> reveal. That's true because they always hide and then they reveal themselves. Octopus demonstrates the impressive impact of revelation. <laughs> Otter, <laughs> these are so cute. Otter, pleasure. Energetic and playful in every way. I love otters, I love them. Pelican. Commitment, that's true. Penguin encourages us to remain focused, committed and flexible even when life is chaotic. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love these so much. They're so beautiful. Is that texture showing up on camera? I hope so. Seahorse contentment. Seahorse is a calm and mild-mannered spirit satisfied to amble through the sea. Oh, these are adorable starfish. And you can we see we're in the water element here. Sensation, sea star teaches us to trust what we cannot see. Turtle, sea turtle, serenity. Whenever sea turtle goes, wherever sea turtle goes, she is already home. There is no rush to move forward or backward, up or down or side to side. Wow, shark, resolve. At no time in shark's life does he consider weakness an impossibility. Stingray, assertiveness. Often on the defense, Stingray teaches us how to be assertive. I love the key words. I love what Rebecca has covered in this deck. It is going, this is going to be used. You're going to see this in all my readings. Whale. I don't know this word. Numa. Well, exemplifies the life-giving spirit within us. I'm going to have to look that up after. I'm going to have to go through these again. Oh, this is like, if I was watching this on someone else's video, this is something I would have to stop because you can pause and see what the rest says on the animals you like. But um, also we're in earth now. Um, earth element. Badger, I love badgers because the keywords and what she's written here, uh, Rebecca's written here are beautiful. Manifestation of all the fauna, badger is one of the most misunderstood creatures. Oh, bear. Oh, what a cute bear. Look at his feet. I just want to cuddle him. Nurturing, in times of struggle, Bear often offers a strong source of support. Oh, oh, ox, ox, buffalo, buffalo. Connection, generation after generation, buffalo reminds us of our sacred path. Yeah, his, that's so true. Elephant, gentleness. Oh, that's a good keyword for elephant. You always usually find strength, but he is a gentle giant, well, unless you stir him, of course. This enormously affable creature is filled with sincerity. <laughs> koala, Australian koala, wisdom. 
Koala gifts us with sacred wisdom through his ability to climb high into the canopy. He encourages us to seek a broader vision of the universe. Yeah, he's also a high on eucalyptus or dopey on eucalyptus <laughs> all the time too, just to let you know. So I don't know, wisdom. I don't know, he can see a lot, but you know, it's a, if, koalas are quite dopey because of the leaves they eat. They're very, they sleep a lot and yeah. I don't know about that one. Uh, what is this? Moose? Yep. Presence. Moose is a symbol of feminine wilfulness, energy, and longevity. Wow. Mouse. Confidence. <laughs> Sometimes the smallest animals can teach us the biggest lessons. Oh, these are just too good. Mountain lion? Puma. Action. Puma comes from a long line of cats notorious for their inclination towards sudden aggressive action. Rabbit. Abundance, that's for sure. Rabbit is traditionally associated with sentiment, desire, and bounty. Reindeer? Deer? Stag. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> it is a male. Stag. Vitality, a creature of great spiritual significance. Stag evokes images of Celtic lore and medieval quests. Oh, here it is, wolf. Instinct, perfect. A creature of solitude yet highly pack bound. Wolf serves as a strong intuitive guide for those seeking a stronger connection to their innate gifts and talents. Uh, beaver, yep. Motivation, beaver brings vision, creativity, and action to our lives. Camel, endurance. Despite the persistent severity of the sun, camel refuses to succumb. You can see that I love this um, animals and I'm loving this deck. I just, it's beautiful. Frog, cleansing. Oh, that's, I wasn't expecting that. A fauna of both water and land, frog is a strongly associated with cleansing. Did I just move the whole table? Hold on a second, I did. <laughs> um, she supports negativity. She supports us in removing negativity from our life. She is a powerful guide when times call for emotional release. Ooh. I just, I'm loving what is written here. Hummingbird, reflection, the tiniest bird of her species. These birds are beautiful. Hummingbird beats her wings up to 200 times per second. This video is longer than I expected it to be. Sorry, I'm just enjoying this too much. I'm born in Year of the Pig, prosperity. A darling of endearment, pig loves companionship and has a strong inclination towards trust. Oh, little piggy. Polar bear, camouflage. In the presence of polar bear, we are reminded that blending in can be useful and courageous as standing out. Ra raccoon? Yes, exploration. Raccoon encourages us to consider the complexities of disguise. <laughs> mm, uh, what would this be, crow or raven? Raven, truth. Raven is strongly associated with shamanism, healing, and the realm of the dead. I have framed pictures of crows and ravens all over my bedroom. I love them. Chameleon, salamander. Oh yeah, it's more fish-like. It looks like an, um, I used to have axolotls. Salamander adaptability. Salamander symbolizes adaptability. So I can't read all of these. We're already at 23 minutes at least from what I can see. Snail, patience. Yes, that's perfect. A champion of patience now teaches us to embrace delay. That'll be showing up a lot for me because I'm trying to slow down. Spider, resourcefulness. Spider is a remarkable figure of feminine energy and creativity. Oh, I like that. And tortoise, I think. <laughs> yeah. Turtle. We already had a sea turtle. I thought this one would be tortoise. Uh, duality, comfortable with both transitions. Turtle symbolizes new beginnings and endings. Oh my gosh, guys, this deck is absolutely gorgeous. I am loving it. How does it shuffle? Oh, it's so soft, guys. And it makes that noise. It is so soft. 
I'm trying not to shuffle too fast. I don't want to drop it in my coffee or my candles because this is will stain. It is art card or I don't know what it is, but it's freaking gorgeous. Actually, I might look it up and if I find it, I'll write it in the video here, I think, um, what this card stock is if I can find it, like I said. So let's put it safely in its box because I'm I really want to look after this beautiful deck and keep it safe because I am loving it. And let's just take a quick look at the little, I'm just taking it out of its baggie, um, little mini fauna. It's got straight edges from what I can see, so I'll see how that goes. Otherwise, I might have to get my corner cutter out. But it kind of looks good like that. So you've got the little fauna inspiration, and I think it's got the same things written on it. Look at that. We can actually check because I kept it in order now that I've put them away. No, I haven't kept them in order. Damn it. How are they not in order? Okay, let me see if I can find... There, these two are the same. I just want to see if what's written on the back is the same for both. Yes. So you get the full message on the little ones as well. Oh, how cute are they, guys? Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. And I'll just show you the size difference as well, just in case you want to. So it's got straight corners and a border, but it looks stunning like that. And if you match up the corners, and that is the size difference. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? What a beautiful, beautiful deck, everyone. I'm so happy to be able to show it to you. Now I'm gonna be here for, this is gonna take almost an hour or more. I'm going to, uh, I might just link all of these together so you can watch, or should I put the same intro for each of them? I don't know. I will now film uh, two and three because otherwise we'll be here forever. And if you're interested in seeing the other decks, that way you can have a look at whichever one interests you or all of them if you want to have all of them. At this rate, being totally honest with you and looking at them the way I have, I would want all of them. But we'll see if there's some repetition or something. Okay, let's film number two. I hope you enjoyed this and I think I might upload them weekly just so you can um, have a look at them. So each week I think one will come out, but you never know, I might change my mind. I better stop filming. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. I love these and I'll see you all again soon. See ya.